How you doing guys? Today we're going to do something a little different to my normal videos. Um, got a bit of carbon per year. We've got a CNC machine behind us. And what we're going to do is we're going to be cutting another one of these. Um, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram. You'll probably have seen this a few times on there. Um, originally it was a 7 inch. Um, I basically converted it to an 8 inch. The props run pretty close to the frame but they're still plenty enough room for it but um, I'm going to design another one because these these things fly so damn good. Um, I wouldn't say like uh, it's original design because if you look online this looks very similar to the two raw aerials so props to Josh who actually designed it um, but I basically made uh, a slightly bigger one you could say which runs 8 inch props. Uh, the goal here is to make it even bigger, um, not a lot bigger really, but just a tad bigger so that I can fit 9 inch props on it if I need to. Um, yeah, it's a really uh, efficient drone and for an 8 inch it does uh, rip around really nice. Um, I have got another 10 inch as well that uh, I'll probably make a video on soon, but this one's going to be all about this. <coughs> We're going to get into it now. We're going to take the film off the uh, carbon, uh, stick it down, we've got some frog tape here, this is what we're going to stick it down with, and then we got some super glue as well, so that will be just plonked onto there with the super glue, and then we'll go from there, I'll take you along and uh, hope you enjoy. So the carbon is down now on the CNC machine. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to bore out some 1.5 millimeter holes. Um, got some new bits in here. We're going to put in the machine, and then from there, then we're going to go to two millimeters and bore out all the two millimeter holes. And then after that, then it'll be moving on to the contours. <coughs> it's going to be about uh, half hour, I think, this sheet altogether. Uh, give or take, it might be a bit longer. But um, yeah, hopefully it'll turn out nice and we'll go from there. A little side note as well, um, carbon fibre is not exactly great for your lungs. Um, so at the moment I haven't got a vacuum hooked up to the CNC. So what I'll be using is, uh, is a Dewalt um, vacuum cleaner, industrial vacuum cleaner. I know you should be wearing a mask as well, but I feel like this sucks up enough for me to you know avoid it from my lungs. But if you've got a mask on you, yeah, I highly recommend you use a mask. So we just finished our cut, um, I did run into uh, an issue where the tool was running straight across the frame, uh, I don't know if you can see it, two seconds, I'll focus on it, yeah, there's a line running all the way across here which sort of kind of ruined the part, it's not that deep, but for what I need it for, uh, I won't be just wasting this sheet, um, I'll probably scrap uh, that one there. Probably these two I might scrap, uh, and that'll be about it. But the rest of them is looking good. The cuts are looking good. Um, it's getting late now, so uh, I'll probably continue this tomorrow. But uh, yeah. 
the program. How are you doing guys? It's, it's the next day now. Um, we we had an issue with uh, the bit cutting into the carbon yesterday. Um, I managed to solve that issue. Uh, a friend of mine helped me out. I'm pretty new to CNC cutting myself so it's a bit of a learning curve but um, I'm not going to waste everything on that previous sheet. I know there's a line going through the carbon on the um, main plate but once I flip it the other way it'll be sandwiched together so you won't see it anyway for my needs here. so that's all good um, I've got another sheet down here that I'm going to cut um, it's going to be the top plate um, a few motor plates as well because um, I scrapped I think it was about two of them uh, and that's about it I'm going to put some bits in here now um, and start the cutting so let's go So we just finished up our uh, cutting, um, run into another little issue, uh, when I was um, cutting these this corner piece here, it sort of flaked off the carbon, and, um, because they had the vacuum on there as well, the, the power of the vacuum sucked it up into here, and uh, it just snapped a bit off the end, but um, that's all I've lost is this uh, motor mount, which is not an issue anyway, it's only a little uh, loss. And it didn't finish off the two uh, motor arms as well, which is not a problem. I was only cutting them for spade anyway. So yeah, here's a cut. Um, I'll move the head now for you so you can see. So if I just jog that out of the way. Put that up. <coughs> right. Um, yeah. So... <coughs> Here's the cut. You can see it. It's looking pretty good. Better than before as well because I haven't got that big huge scrape line going through it from from my own fault at the end of the day. Um, a bit of tape there. But yeah, looking good. Um, what I'll do now is um, I'll sand up the parts and uh, I'll put it sort of together and show you what it looks like. And then I'll probably create another video then of me assembling it. Um, what I'll be doing is I'll be taking out the electronics from one of my other drones and they'll be going in this one. So, yeah, here we go. How are you doing guys? Um, it's probably been about three days now after I've cut the frame. Um, I finally uh, got the finished frame by here. The few areas that need sanding, um, but overall it looks pretty good. If you can see it there, it's nice little size. Um, it will take up to nine inch props, but with the nine inch props as well, it'd be running pretty close to the frame because if you compare it to the first version I made of, um, this is 
was mainly designed for seven inch props, but uh, I obviously changed it to eight inch. Um, I think the added props size is much better for carrying weight, so I can run much larger batteries and it handles the weight a lot better. Um, so as you can see there, the props run pretty close to the camera. Um, with, with this frame, I'll have the ability to run eight inch props and then eventually nine inch props as well if I need to. I don't think I will need to, but um, yeah. Uh, the few other changes I made to it, uh, which got on my nerves from the original version, was this wire, this battery wire, it was hanging round. Um, it wasn't easy to get the batteries hooked up to it, um, no matter how what length I made it. It was always fiddly. Uh, some batteries you get longer wires than others. <clears throat> so I found myself using an extension onto this as well and you've got all this flopping around which really got on my nerves. So what I've done on the new frame is I've, I've had this cut out by here. Um, and what I, what I plan to do is run the battery wires down through here and then I'll use an XT90. Um, a mountable one which will literally sit in the bottom of here like that let me just push it in <clears throat> like that and then your battery go on the bottom then and you got your straps etc it looks a much cleaner as well with all that it'll be hidden um, yeah uh, my first plate as well that I cut um, I had marks going through it as I mentioned um, as you can see they're on the inside of this frame so you can't really see them at all, so this is brilliant. Uh, it's a nice looking frame. Uh, yeah. Uh, the only other thing as well, um, I tried to cut a little bit of weight off it. Uh, I don't know what the comparison in weights between the two is. I'll have to figure that out later, but I've added some uh, holes all around the frame, top and bottom, to make it a bit lighter. So what I'll do now is, uh, I've got a little weighing scales by you. Uh, I'll plonk that on the scales for you so you can see what kind of weight this is. I know I know you haven't got no uh, hardware installed on it, so we expect to add a little bit, little bit, little, little bit more weight. Um, you've got standoffs and bolts and all that to clamp it together, so it could be another 50 to 100 grams weight more. So I'll plonk this on the weighing scales now. Um, we got 254 grams just carbon fiber so what i'll do is i don't know if you can see it there it is 254 grams which isn't too bad for uh, you know we can run nine inch props at the end of the day the the original one i got here with everything on it with a tpu and all that <clears throat> uh bear weight without a gopro that is i don't know if you can see that that is 858 grams so there's a bit of weight to it but at the end of the day it is an 8 inch um, so you can expect that <clears throat> but yeah I hope you uh, enjoyed my process of cutting the frame I know I'm new to it so I'm going to make some errors um, I expected that to be honest uh, but uh, in the future I hope to get better at learning how to use a CNC properly and go from there which is always nice that I can now cut frames out myself rather than getting companies to do it. Usually I get um, CNC Madness from uh, Canada to cut my frames and they, they've always been pretty good to be honest. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to showing you the build process of this. And then once, once I got it together then I'll show you a comparison in weights of the two. Um, I'm not sure if I've shown you the size difference as well, if you look at that. It's not much in it at all, to be honest. Uh, it's only probably, I don't know, 15, 20 mil to the arms to make it that little bit bigger for those larger props. And if, you know, if I'm using eight inch, I'll have further clearance to the FPV camera as well, where the FPV camera sits in the middle there. Other than that, it looks pretty good. Oh, and another thing I did change as well, um, the way these are mounted, I haven't completely decided how I'm gonna mount them, but I've got, two holes here each side and then I'm gonna hope to cut uh, a little bit of CNC metal from this maybe uh, put that in there and it'll be bolted on there so when I want to take it all off it's easy to come off um, that's one of the downfalls of this one as well the first design I've done so yeah uh, hope you enjoyed the video uh, if you can uh, subscribe and like uh, give us a comment let me know what you think and uh, it always helps out me and the channel so 
yeah until next time see you again cheers